guys. Here, yeah, this one taped up, get ready. Excuse the noise. And Peter going, it's freezing in here. Get this one polished up. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like. There's the first test panel. Very hard to see, but I think you can see all that has uh, come up well. <laughs> crack on with the rest of it morning guys yeah it's morning again excuse the mess we had a delivery of parts of a smart car we're doing uh, it turns out that i lost a load of the video on this so i'll give you a little update so far we've polished this driver side and most of the roof uh, managed to get all the marks out of the rear here that we um I think I pointed to earlier on. The roof's come up really nice. The same, the quarter, the door and the wing. So what we're gonna try and do, get this finished today. Make sure that uh, we're not lost our recordings either. And We've had a few problems. Uh, everyone's had problems with flooding down south. My roof decided to start leaking again. It's cracked all the plasterboard everywhere. And it's been dripping down there. So, not good. Roof is coming out to sort that night out. But yeah, we'll get this done. I'm going to make a start on this and this side. The heat is just about to fire up. Okay, I don't know if I remembered to show you. It looks really shiny on the video, but that's the old, dull, faded backlight on that side. Very difficult to see on here versus the one that I've worked on. Stored the clarity. Get rid of the swells. Not bad for a 30 year old light. Sort of see how faded that one is, even though it looks shiny on there, it's not. Right, let's crack on.
There we go, people. That's the backlights done. Little update so far. Looking a lot, lot better. What a massive difference to the lights. Let's crack on. That's the polishing done now. It's come up quite nice. It won't bad at all, to be fair. Been done over a few days. We got a bath bin, collecting cars and sorting stuff out. Come in this morning again. The roof has been. I need to replace the whole roof, which is uh, not good. That means I've got to move out. And, uh, I don't know if they've got. Well, they've got one more other workshop on the farm that aren't where I am. Uh, don't really want to move, but I don't really want to risk that collapsing. There's all wood behind that plasterboard weed on it, but it's not going to be long. But yeah. All we've got left to do now is interior and glass, but that won't be done this side of Christmas. This one's getting uh, chucked away and covered up for the moment. And then we've got this. This, um, let's give you a walk around on this. Let me get the cover off and show you what we've got. Here she is. An old dog needs some revival. Roof's looking lovely. A 
50 shades of pink. Missing the uh, rubber strips on the bumper. I do have one fog light. The guy was supposed to dig out the other one on the petrol cap. Wing has seen a bit of days. I have sourced another one. Petrol cap is missing. He's supposed to sort that out for us. The door's knackered. I've, uh, I think I've hunted down another door. It's full of spare parts inside. Not for this, well, for a Renault, but we've just chucked them in there just to say it hooked them for the minute. But it does run and drive. It was on the road. I've, uh, Got me mate, he's just chucked a carburetor kit in it because it wasn't revving very well. We've done that. Um, after Christmas, I'm going to order a service kit for it. And try and uh, <coughs> get it running right. And we're going to uh, strip the can and give it a full respray. Don't know whether to go um, keep it red and original, or do I change the colour and do a nice, you know, paint it a nice colour? I'm not too sure. In all honesty, probably better off keeping it red. I hate red. <laughs> Holder. I've been hammerited ready now. I've got a hammerite dripping all over the pipes. I would like to rip that engine out and paint the whole bay, do the whole lot, but it's a lot of work. If I could strip most of it down, fold it in, and just do the back and the sides of the engine bay probably be adequate enough. But yeah, that's going to be coming up very soon. I'll try and squeeze another video in of the grey one uh, when we eventually get around to doing the interior. This was the main priority was just get it polished back up, the flat bit's gone, make it look nice. He's got that booked in for MOT tomorrow, Monday. This is Sunday today when I'm filming this. Um, yeah, this was squeezed in in between other stuff. So I've got to crack on with my normal day-to-day -day stuff uh, that I resume Monday. And then I've got to find time. We're going to get that stripped down over the Christmas period. Um, I've got another couple of cars to get sorted. Then I might spend a week on that and hammer through that and get that looking nice. I've priced up a couple of bits on it. I would like to, I would, would like to see it back to its former glory, to be honest. Um, if I can sort out collecting the wing and the door, strip it all down, I'm gonna paint all the door shuts. Um, I just didn't want it to end up being a full restoration job. I've not planned or budgeted for that. This was sort of, I bought it on a whim and I thought, even if I MOT'd it, give it a blow over, it'd be a brilliant start of a project for someone. But in all honesty, I feel like it needs a better job than just a blow over. 
I think if uh, I take the bonnet doors and boot off, do the shell, paint the panels, do a right nice job of it, then uh, I might refurb the wheels and then uh, from the outside, everything's gonna look lovely of a similar nature. But how far do you go? Trying to source OEM bits and, you know, like I've got rubber bit missing. Um, a bit scared of these trims, they're brittle. they known for breaking when you remove them. Uh, skirt kit, I mean, skirt kit's all right. It's been painted about 100 times. But uh, look, the little weather seal inside the skirt. Should have a little bit of plastic in there. I know I'm opening up a can of worms. The minute I start this, I'm gonna end up finding more and more parts that's missing. Oh, I need to buy that, oh, I need to buy that. And the goal is not to do a full restoration. The goal is to paint it all red, make it look nice and get it back on the road. That can be someone else's job. I wanted to sort of, I wanted to keep it for the summer and have a little toy. Obviously I want to paint it and make it look nice, but I've really not made my mind up. So any suggestions, chuck them in the comments. Tell me what you think. Should we keep it red? Should we paint it another color? Or should we try and keep it as sort of factory as it should be? We'll sort all of that lot out over Christmas. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll see it again very soon. And we'll get cracking. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't be afraid to subscribe and leave us a comment. Thank you very much.